This is Soldier Modernisation reporting from the Future Soldier Technology Conference in London. I'm joined by Andy Murdoch of Glenair. Andy, thanks for talking to us. Let's start by asking you a bit about the history of Glenair, particularly on the military side. Yeah, absolutely, Brian. So, so Glenair is a uh, is a US company, and we have facilities over in the UK, Germany, and Italy. Uh, it's a private company, and it's been working in the aero military uh, business for for over 60 years now. Um, and it works in the connector cabling. Uh, area uh, so we have a, a vast uh, history uh, and, and pedigree in, in that area uh, on, on all sorts of military uh, military uh, equipment um, and one of the product lines that we're looking at putting across uh, to or this week over in London is, is our product line Starpan. Oh, okay, well, tell us a bit more about that then. Yeah, absolutely. So, so Starpan is a uh, is a USB uh, 2.0 uh, power and data hub, um, and what it enables uh, the warfighter to be able to do is connect up his uh, his existing uh, and future periphery devices, so things like radios, GPS, laser rangefinders. Um, the hub enables uh, distribution of power to those devices, so you can uh, reduce the weight of batteries and and and, and, and equipment on the soldier. Uh, but it also distributes information up onto a tablet. Um, so with the tablet, uh, the aim of the game there is we can get uh, a greater situational awareness uh, and that obviously helps the soldier to be able to make the decisions that he has uh, always been making quicker uh, at, a, at, a, at a faster rate uh, and with, 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 beta, uh, with better information. Uh, so allowing them to, to, to actually take, take the fight to the enemy a lot, a lot quicker. Um, so, so yeah, very useful tool. Very useful tool. Um, there are some issues when uh, when connecting up, and there are some uh, some problems that uh, you will find when connecting up a commercial off-the-shelf device, such as a, a Samsung phone. Um, and uh, and for that, we we've we've developed some new equipment as well. And is that something to do with this new thing that you're you're talking about? Is it Mission Manager that you have here? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, this is a great new world that, uh, that, that we're living in with, uh, with these soldiers and it's, it's at that pioneering level. Um, and what, what we have is uh, we're, we're merging military equipment with the commercial off-the-shelf equipment. Um, and, and that's primarily because we want to leverage the, the capabilities that that commercial off-the-shelf equipment enables us, which is for the phones is, 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 is a great product. Uh, the young soldiers now are very used to using these. But those phones are never designed to work with the equipment uh, together, uh, so so we come across some issues. Uh, so what we've what we've come up with to fix that is this thing called the mission manager, and essentially um, it's a small matchbox size box, and it has a, a Linux OS running on it. Uh, what that enables is it becomes the host in this this soldier system, uh, and it takes away the burden and the issue of the end user device running that. So the so what of that means that you can connect up any device to it, end user device wise. Um, um, and it is agnostic, so we can run it on uh, Windows, uh, Android, uh, or, or uh, iOS. So um, it allows the user to have redundancy, picking up any device he wants, and it will work, um, enabling him to have uh, multiple Ethernet devices, enabling them to have uh, charge and data simultaneously on the device, um, and enable them to do what we call cross-banding, which is essentially bridging networks. So again, the so what of that, a soldier with a video downlink receiver uh, and, a, and a capable radio is now able to distribute that information, i.e. the video, across his tactical network, uh, again increasing the situational awareness. Um, so a very powerful tool uh, and one that we're very proud of uh, and it's, uh, we're now getting it out to market uh, for people to fix the problems that, that, that the soldiers are now facing, making their life a little bit more easier. Absolutely, well it sounds like you've got everything covered for the future. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you Brian.